In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the PS4 emulator called Shad PS4. You can find the compatibility list on the homepage of Shad PS4. Okay, so let's head over to shadps4.com. The link to this page is in the description below. And as of the recording of this video, the latest version of this emulator is 4.0. So the official site has the latest build. This is the same one you will find on the GitHub page. But in case you're watching this video in the future, I will leave a link to the Shad PS4 GitHub page as well, in case there is a newer version released there first. So let's go up to the top of the page and click on downloads. And this emulator is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to stay with Windows QT, and I'm going to go ahead and click on download now. And your download should start. The file has now downloaded, and I have moved it to my desktop. Now, if you don't already have 7-Zip installed on your PC, I have a link in the description below. Go ahead and download this program. We will use this to extract the emulator. Once you have 7-Zip installed, all you need to do is right click on the file, go to show more options, go to 7-Zip and extract the Shad PS4. When it's done extracting, you will get a new folder containing all of your extracted files. You no longer need the zip file, so we can go ahead and delete this. And let's open this folder. And inside of this folder, this file here will be the actual emulator. Let's go ahead and open it. Now you're going to get this pop-up saying, add your directory to install games and DLC. We are going to skip this because we will need the emulator itself to extract our ROMs, which will be PKG files. So go ahead and hit cancel. Now I cannot tell you guys here where to get PS4 ROMs, but I do have a video on my Patreon page that will help you out. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. So for example, when you first get a PS4 ROM, it will be in a compressed folder that needs to be extracted. So here I have Kingdom Hearts 3, and we're gonna use 7-Zip to extract this file. Let's go ahead and right click on it, go down to show more options, 7-Zip, and extract here. Now PS4 ROMs are large, so this may take a while. Once the game is extracted, you will have a PKG file. This is the file that we will upload into Shad PS4. Okay, back over on the emulator. Let's go up to file, install packages. Go ahead and locate wherever you have your PS4 ROMs. In my case, I have them on an external hard drive. Remember the file type must be PKG file. Go ahead and highlight all of your games and then come down to open. Then it's going to show the directory of where your games are, in my case, on my D drive, which is my external hard drive. OK. And then it's going to start extracting those PKG files. And depending on how many ROMs you are uploading, this could take a while. And there we are. All of my games have been uploaded into the emulator. Now, if you would like to change the view of the games to a grid view, then come up here to view, come down to game list mode and click grid view. Now I'm going to go ahead and change it back to list view. So this way you can see what version of the game you are playing. As of right now, all of my games are running on version 1.0, but if you have any update files, you can install them. So your game is up to date. And to do this, you want to go back up to file, install packages, Go ahead and locate wherever you have your update files. In my case, I have them in a folder on my external hard drive and I have a Bloodborne update and open. Okay. And then you should get this pop-up. Would you like to install patch 1.09? Yes. Game successfully installed, okay. And now if we take a look at the version next to Bloodborne, we will see it has been updated to 1.09. Now let's go up to settings. Under emulator, go ahead and check enable full screen. Then let's go over to graphics where it says auto select. Go ahead and click on the little arrow. And if you have a graphics card, you want to go ahead and select that graphics card. 
Now to up the resolution, you're gonna have to change your width and height. So you can up this to 1080p, but anything over 1080p most likely will crash your game. So as of right now, where this emulator stands, I recommend just leaving it on 720 or going up to 1080. Now click on apply and save. Now you will notice when you come up here and click on the controller icon, you don't get a menu. That's because this emulator by default will detect your Xbox One, Xbox Series, or PS5 controller and map your buttons out for you. As long as you have one of those controllers connected to your PC before you open this emulator, you are good. Okay guys, so this is the second day I am working on this video. And when I first loaded up Shad PS4, I had an update available. So as you see, my emulator has been updated to version 0.4.1. If you want to make sure you are running the latest version of Shad PS4, then you want to come up here to help, check for update, and if you have one available, it will show up here. But in my case, I am up to date. Also, if we go back into our settings, down here under update, you want to make sure you are running in nightly. Running Shad PS4 in the nightly build will give you the most current updates. I have my PS5 controller connected to my PC. Now we can go ahead and load up a game and I'll do Bloodborne. Now, real quick, if you want to go into full screen, all you need to do is hit the F11 key. And if you want to go back, F11, full screen, F11. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.